Uh, hello again. I got a, a very interesting question from Goran Radek, a Latter-day Saint Christian uh, in his 20s and he lives in Serbia and he says this. Hi, I have been born and raised in a country that was under a communist regime until I was 16 years old. I was brought up to love that country and to defend it with all I had. Even so, it broke apart and now I'm found living in another, smaller country with newly founded capitalism, democracy, ruling system. So what I was wondering was, do the, do the brethren, when they speak against communism, do they speak as prophets or just as USA loving citizens and patriots? After all, I've lived in it and communism wasn't halfway so demonic as it sounds in the statements and current system isn't a bed of roses either. I am aware that the current system might eventually work out better because it is more soundly based. Another thing I was wondering about is upholding the Constitution of the USA. Is it required of Americans only or are all the members of the church obliged to do it? That would in my opinion be especially hard for saints in Serbia. Yes, America is the promised land and I am willing to move to New Jerusalem once it is built or help to build it. It's the same to me. But I am also aware that the USA have made a lot of really bad decisions in recent history and that the country is being led uh, by not so honest people sometimes. Unfortunately, I have no voting power to change what I don't like in the US government. So do I still have to upkeep it? Anyway, I'm thankful for all that America has given us, starting with the Book of Mormon, Joseph Smith, to all the other prophets and all the wonderful young missionaries and older missionary couples and all the faithful members in the states whose contributions are helping immensely the church to grow, where it otherwise, because of the small numbers of the people and their relative poverty, couldn't. Thank you. Well, Gorin, uh, let me just say that uh, they most definitely speak as prophets. All we need to do is look at the Book of Mormon to verify this. The very actions of active Christians in the Book of Mormon teach us how we must act in preserving freedom of religion, freedom of being able to choose the right. Under a communist regime, such as the Gadianton robbers, force is the rule of law. Godless government, where the atheism is the adopted state religion, the late Elder Bruce R. McConkie wrote in his recent book, The Millennial Messiah, says, Next, Moroni turns the key so that all who have ears to hear can understand what the secret combination is and identify those who build it up. For it cometh to pass, he says, that whoso buildeth it up seeketh to overthrow the freedom of all lands, nations, and countries. This is a worldwide conspiracy. It is now entrenched in many nations, and it seeks dominion over all nations. It is godless, atheistic, and operates by compulsion. It is communism. And it bringeth to pass the destruction of all people, for it is built up by the devil, who is the father of all lies, even that same liar who beguiled our first parents. Yea, even that same liar hath caused man to commit murder from the beginning, who hath hardened the hearts of men, that they have murdered prophets, and stoned them, and cast them out from the beginning. That's from the Millennial Messiah, Bruce R. McConkie. Goran, I believe that you should love your country, and do all within your power to embrace the truth and reject the false philosophies of man, such as socialism and communism. They have been clearly spelled out in the Book of Mormon by those prophets, as well as our own, as tools of the devil to take away our freedoms. Don't be distracted by current and corrupted government and use that as your yardstick of what the Constitution of the United States stands for, any more than you would read the Book of Mormon and become disillusioned over the eventual fate of the Nephite or the Jaredite nations who fell. True, we are in the process of falling, even at the brink, but we can yet save things. We can do our part. Here's a good quote from Edward Everett Hale. I am only one, but I am one. I can't do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, 
that I ought to do. And what I ought to do, by the grace of God, I will do. We should uphold all that is true and which came from God, no matter where we are. The Constitution of the United States is not a political document. It's a banner to the world and an example for all to follow. The Lord set it up, not man. Jesus Christ said in DNC 101, verse 79, Therefore it is not right that any man should be in bondage one to another, and for this purpose I have established the constitution of this land by the hands of wise men whom I have raised up unto this very purpose and redeemed by the land and redeemed the land by the shedding of blood. As a member of the Church of Jesus Christ, I am obligated to uphold all truth, no matter where it is or where it came from. I am equally obligated to fight against untruth and lies and deceit, which is caused by the craftiness of the devil. Brigham Young said this, To me, it is more rational for an intelligent being to embrace truth than it is to mix up a little truth with a great deal of error. As hard as it may be for saints in Serbia, for example, to embrace the truth, Embrace it they must. Captain Moroni in the Book of Mormon embraced the truth and fought diligently even unto bloodshed for it and rallied his brethren to defend that which is their right. It is our right to worship God no matter where we are in the world. We, if we live in a country where freedom of worship is infringed in any manner, then we must work to change that. We must get involved to change our country. Indeed, I am personally involved in trying to change my country, the USA, back to what it was when it was founded under the influence of God by upholding the Constitution, a truthful document, which by its very nature condemns communism and tyranny. We must do everything in our power to uphold that which is good and true. Captain Moroni did, and he was praised by Mormon in this manner, Alma 48. 17 says yea verily I say unto you if all men had been and were and ever will be like unto Moroni behold the very powers of hell would have been shaken forever yea the devil would have no power over the hearts of children of men 